could this printer be the Ender 3 killer? Today, we get our flex on with a Sovol SV01. My name's Jim, and this is the Edge Attack. So Sovol recently sent me the SV01, and I really appreciate it. I know I'm way behind the ball on this printer, but I really love getting new printers to check out, especially since they're so close to my beloved Ender 3. Well, I tell you what, after using this for quite a while, I really think that this could be the Ender 3 killer. But I'll let you make that determination yourself after you see some cool prints we did with this. Like I said, today we're gonna get our flex on. Flex on. and give you some of the facts of the Sovol SV01. Everything you see today is actually printed on eNotepad silk white or silk black filament. Thank you so much to eNotepad for sending me this filament to review. So far, I really like it. It's turned out some amazing prints as you'll see shortly and it really looks great and it shines so good. So eNotepad, thank you guys so much for sending me the filament. Now the first thing I did when I got it built and got it leveled was I printed the test cube that actually came on the SD card. This was in that Enopad silk white and it printed pretty good as you can see here. I do think there's a little bit of uh, room for improvement but dialing this thing in should not be bad. Now the second thing I printed was this awesome flexi skeleton. With Halloween coming right around the corner, I'm gonna print a whole bunch of these and actually these are gonna be my new decorations because they're stronger than the stuff you can get in the store but they look so cool. As you can see here, it's fully articulating. Uh, everything can move from the arms, it goes up and down and sideways and, and the... It even falls apart like a skeleton. Now, joking aside, I pried this thing off the printer as you'll see in some of these prints too soon because I was in a hurry and I broke some of the flexi parts. But, so it printed really good in that Eno pad silk white and I guess you'd say it's not half bad. The next thing I did was this really cool flexi unicorn. It came out really good. It flexes in all the directions like you would expect. It printed very nicely. The layers are super clean as you can see there and, and I broke the head off trying to get it off the bed but we won't tell my wife that because she loves unicorns and I might be in trouble. It turned out really good as you can see and I think the uh, filament really complemented this printer very well. And you gotta love unicorns. Next, we have the classic Flexi Rexy. I had to print this because of course, if you're gonna print something Flexi, you might as well print the Rexy. This thing flexes so good as you can see, it printed very good inside of the rings. It actually printed the scales really good as you can see there. I think this came out really good. I love the Flexi Rexy model. Again, everything I printed is in the description below. Now, one of the things I printed that was not Flexi was this spiral vase. Now, this was done in the white silk, and as you can see, this thing just shines. This was done in vase mode on my Prusa Slicer profile, and you'll find that profile in the description below as well. I really love how these spiral vases shine, and that's why I wanted to do that in this silk white. As you can see, the extrusions came out amazing. Uh, just an awesome, awesome vase right off the Sovol SV01. The next thing I printed was this Flexi Dragon, and I went from the Enopad silk white to the silk black. And I tell you what, I love the shine of both of these filaments. But with this dragon, uh, you print the body first and then you print the right and the left wing separate. I think it printed great. It actually went in, assembled very easily. And all of the flexi joints are super flexi. Now when you're taking these things off the bed, do not get impatient because you break them. Yes, so far I've broken almost every single one of my flexies because I hit it with the scraper too hard and I broke it. So be careful, be patient, and these things will come out great. But as you can see, uh, the dragon came out awesome. The wings, they clip in down here. And you can actually do any color wings you want. You could do, do two different colors. You could change your color of your dragon, anything you want. And it actually prints really good on that Sovol SV01. But I love this model of the dragon and I love that you can change the wing colors because that's such a fun thing to do. My dragon! That brings us to the last flexi thing I printed. That is the bat. 
Of course, if you had the skeleton for Halloween, we gotta have some bats. And these are cool because I think you could actually hang them from the eyes. So they could hang there and flap around in the wind, which is really cool. But as you can see, it printed very nice. The layers in these came out really good. And that black silk from e Pad is like glass when you print with it. I really love this model. Uh, check it out in the description below because this is such a fun model. It's really fast to print. And uh, I'm gonna print a bunch of these for Halloween along with those skeletons. I really love the range of motion on this bat. You can really get it flapping around. Not to be upstaged, but this is that black e Pad silk filament. Same spiral vase, different color beautiful shine. As you can see, the lights are bouncing off of it. It gives it just an amazing shine. Uh, again, this vase is one of my favorites to print, especially for a test. It came out really good. You can see the layers in here came out super good for vase mode. I really like this model. And again, it's one of my favorites to print. I love how this filament shines. And that was the last piece that I printed for the video. And I really, really like this printer. So some other cool things about the Solval SV01, it has a 280 by 240 by 300 build surface, a direct drive extruder right on there, a Meanwell power supply, dual Z access with dual motors, which is awesome. It has a glass bed, and I tell you what, this thing holds on the prints so good. As you guys saw in some of my flexi prints, I broke them trying to get off the bed. So this bed actually holds it really good. Uh, it does a great job. It does have a filament runout sensor up in the top, and it has support for ABL actually built into the hot end over here, so you can actually mount your ABL right to the hot end. Overall, this thing is a super cool printer. I really think this thing is in direct competition with the Ender 3, and it even might nudge it out now that it has the direct drive extruder, because with the direct drive you can print, Flexible is easier, you can print all sorts of materials, and I really like direct drive. A couple of these printers have been direct drive that I've been reviewing lately, and it's actually changing my mind a little bit because these things print so good. Another thing you see is this very sturdy extrusion and they use four wheels in the back instead of three. I really like that. It's extra wide extrusion and those wheels really keep it nice and stable. Thanks again to Solval for sending me your printer to uh, do a little review and have a little fun with the video on. I really appreciate that. I look forward to checking out your printers in the future. If you are in the market for a printer, I would definitely check out the Solval SV01. I really like that printer. Links are in the description below. For everything I've shown today and for this printer, you will not go wrong if you are a beginner trying to get into 3D printing. This is a great printer for you. It actually might have taken my top spot right next to the Ender 5. So we'll come up with that maybe in a little video later in the year, but you never know. E-Notepad, thanks again for sending me the filament. I really appreciate that. And I hope you guys learned something. These things print super good. You see all the prints here. You just saw them close up right out of the box. This thing is printing flexi everything with nothing but a basic profile. And my profile is in the link in the description below for Prusa Slicer if you want to check that out. Well, I hope you learned something today. And as always, keep printing. Hey, everybody. I hope you liked the video. If you did, give me that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button right here. And the little bell if you want to get notified next time we go live on Monday nights for Hot Makes or when my next video comes out. Have you seen this one? Check this out. You guys got to watch this one too.